Yes, um, uh, my name is Ronson Bitterzicki, and I live on the corner of 41 and Bowman, that corner piece. Oh, yes. um, now, I, if I don't know if you had a projector, I'd have uh, made up a PowerPoint presentation, but uh, these documents that I have, you guys are just going to have to pass them around and, and look at them, because I refer to them in this. Can we put them on the album? Um, Now I have them all, uh, there's a number on the top left hand corner which is uh, an exhibit number, okay? Now, uh, my family and I have lived on the corner of 41 and Bowman for 30 years now. Uh, the property contains two parcels, uh, of which the main parcel is zone C2 commercial, with the other residents uh, uh, only two tenths of an acre and it's vacant. Together they add up to 9.4 acres. Their index numbers are 2 and 57 on that, and they're highlighted. Uh, and uh, they were assessed at $18,148.72 and $2,303.49. Uh, when combined with the 4.5% interest rate, that is an additional $156 a month for a total of $28,162. And that is on uh, the, the Exhibit 2. It shows an amortization scale. Yeah, it's, it's hard to see, but it, it shows these numbers that I just said. That uh, it's going to cost us uh, $28,000 and uh, $156 a month. If the south side was assessed the same as our side, AR, one house per acre, it would spread the cost over an additional 12,400 homes. Uh, this may bring us to an agreement if it was paid this way. We were told that the reason that the south side was not assessed is that the crossbar and ranch are a government entity and a, a government entity can't tax another government entity. First off, this is obviously not true. PASCO recently collected the property taxes via Mike Fasano. Secondly, we contacted the Inspector General of Pinellas. Rick Elder here spoke with Ronald Peters. He told, we told him our situation and he said, interesting, in the contract of land management of Crossbar Alvar Ranch, it is their responsibility to uh, to do the entrance road maintenance. It has been their responsibility the whole time, ever since uh, uh, November 2nd of 1992. And I have that information in Exhibit 3. Exhibit can I, 3. Can I ask you a question, sir? I'm over here. Is it Pinellas or is it the company that manages Crossbar that is responsible? It is the management of crossbar is responsible to, uh, and if you put that up at a, at a later page, it actually says that they are required to grade the road once a month, and I think Paso County has been grading it. But, but the, the management is, is it Pinellas managing it, or do they have a company managing it that... It, 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 is, it is Pinellas, it okay. is, uh, uh, I, I didn't want to mention... They have a company managing it. That's what I'm saying. That's what they did. So is it the company that's managing it? I didn't want to mention a, a, a specific name, but uh, it is the man, property manager of that uh, Cross Park Alvar Ranch. Third, the Alvar Ranch is not a government entity, nor is it public land. It is a private business. Exhibit 4 on page 11. Of the Inspector, Gen Inspector General of Pinellas' 2012 audit report, it says, quote, In 1990, Alvar Ranch, which conjoins with Crossbar Ranch, was purchased and leased back to the seller to continue ranching activities. Both forestry operations and cattle ranching provide revenue. It also has four, occupy four homes occupied by contractors. Exhibit 6 shows the Crossbar Alvar Ranch uh, generated $6.2 million 
dollars for pine straw and, and timber over the last 10 years. Pinellas County sold the wells, the, the well field, they sold the wells back in the 90s to what became Tampa Bay Water. Tampa Bay Water paid $140 million for those uh, well water rights. Um, I just want to wrap it up with, uh, you know, if Pinellas County can do this, why can't we use our one-time property split and do this same thing and sell the parcel close to Bowman Road back for a dollar following Pinellas County's lead? We don't want to do this, but if this isn't fair, we got that, you know, uh, we'll try to follow Pinellas County's lead on this. We just want this to be fair. And we want Pinellas County to pay their fair share on that 12,400 acres and be assessed, the same as we are, be assessed at one house per acre. Because we're commercial with one residence and we're still, we're still assessed as one house per acre like we have 10 homes there. But we have one. So Thanks, that's all I have to say.